everyone, my name is Siti Navansha Binti Mustafa and my metric number is 150306. Hello everyone, my name is Nur Sahida Binti Daud, metric number 150153. Our topic is Application of Radiation on Food Industrial which is Onion. So, do you know that radiation is used in order to preserve onion? Onion is an important bark crop which is cultivated throughout the world for food and medicinal purpose. But the major post harvest losses of onion are mainly caused due to bark sprouting and rotting, which contribute to loss in storage life and quality. Thus, radiation is used as a safe and effective alternative for extending shelf life of onion. The sole purpose of radiation on onion is to inhibit sprouting during storage and transport. According to the test that was carried out in India, it is sure that the extent of decay in the case of samples was around 55% when onions without irradiation were stored at normal temperature. But this reduced to 37% when the samples were irradiated. Thus, it is proven that Radiation help extend shelf life of onions. Now, let's take a look at the process of radiation on onion. The irradiation technique for sprout inhibition has been used since the early 20th century. The optimal dose range for sprout inhibition for onions was around 20 to 150 gray. The sources of ionizing radiation approved for food irradiation on onion are gamma rays that are produced from cobalt 60. The radiation process starts when bark or packaged onion passes through a radiation chamber on a conveyor belt. The onion does not come into contact with radioactive materials but instead passes through a radiation beam like a large flashlight. Radiation can cause a brownish discoloration of the inner bud or growth center which is generally inconsequential to most users of onion. Dry matter is one of the most important quality criteria in onion. Studies show that gamma irradiation had a positive effect on onion dry matter resulted in increasing the storage life. There are many advantages of application of radiation on food industrial, specifically onion. As I mentioned earlier, this process can inhibit sprouting behaviors that occur within onions. It is a benefit that helps family extend the value of their onion purchases without making several grocery store runs each month. Another advantage is prevention of foodborne illness. Radiation effectively eliminates organisms that cause foodborne illness such as Salmonella and E. coli on onion. Lastly, preservation. Radiation helps to destroy or inactivate organisms that cause spoilage and decomposition on onion. However, there are still some disadvantages of this process. One of the problems with onion irradiation or other food irradiation is that there is no definitive way of killing all of the organisms that come into contact with onions. Some organisms are in fact resistant to the milk radiation that is utilized. Although radiation has been used for many years in Asia, United States and Europe, but it is not yet fully accepted by consumers and public opinion. Another disadvantage is that both vitamins and minerals are at risk through irradiation. Worse yet, the texture and flavors of onion also can be altered through this process. For many people, these changes are unpleasant. That's all from our group. Thank you!